this one's a little tricky because it kind of uses some of the stuff that we've talked about with absolute value, but it also um, kind of taps into some ideas that we've talked about before. This one actually comes out to have four total answers. So uh, I've got absolute value is equal to two. It's really similar to number 10 that we just did. Um, so I can have two ways. I could have this inside piece be two. Um, or I could have it be negative 2, so we'll write um, equal to negative 2. And then over here, I'll write equal to 2. So I'm going to have two equations here that I'm, so or, um, that I'm going to solve. Um, one where it's negative 2, and one where it's positive 2. So I'm going to write x squared plus 3x minus 2. And then here, x squared plus 3x minus 2. So I'll solve the left-hand side one first, um, where I have it equal to negative 2. Um, add 2 to both sides. I'm left with 0 on the right-hand side. Add 2 to negative 2. Well, that also gives me 0. So I'm just left with x squared um, plus 3x is equal to 0. So I can factor this. Um, some of you may get stuck here because it doesn't look like, you know, the thing I have underlined right up in the top. Um, doesn't have that last term. But um, I can pull an x out. x times x plus 3 is equal to 0. And that tells me that x could be 0 or x could be uh, negative 3. Um, just plug them in your head here. With the 0, I get 0, 0, negative 2. Take its absolute value, it gives me that 2. The negative 3, I get 9, minus 9, minus 2. 9's cancel, give me the same thing, so it works. So those guys work. And I'll come over here, and I'll solve the other one. So I get uh, x squared plus 3x. Now I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides, so minus 4 equals 0. Um, now I can factor. Probably more comfortable factoring this because it looks more normal. Um, so I get x minus 1 and x plus 4. So that tells me that x could be 1 or it could be negative 4. Me and my head check it. I'll erase this so we can check it. Um, when I plug in 1, I get 1. Um, plus 3, so that's 4, minus 2. That gives me a positive 2, absolute value 2. Good. Now, we'll do the last one. Uh, negative 4, so I get 16. Minus 12. Minus 2. That also gives me a positive 2, because I got negative 14 and 16, and it gives me 2 as well. So they all work. Um, you could give me the answer like that. It might be a little bit better to say, well, x could be negative 4, and I'm starting with the lowest. It could be negative 3. It could be 0, or it could be 1, and then circle them all together.